The ministers of labor and employment held a closed door meeting with the leadership of the Trade Union Congress. At the end of the meeting, the TUC president, Festo Sosifo, said the meeting with the federal government is on course. Meanwhile, TUC has threatened to picket the Lagos State, government, uh, Lagos State government's office next week should the crisis rocking the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria um, linger. TVC's Jokia Disa reports. Barely 24 hours after the Ministers of Labor and Employment met with the leadership of the Nigeria Labor Congress, it is the turn of the TUC to interface with the government. But unlike that of the NLC, Tuesday's meeting was without opening remarks as journalists were sent out, immediately the ministers were seated. The closed-door meeting ended after almost two hours. The Honorable Minister gave us a brief on what they have done, that he has met with the President, that he has presented to him the issues regarding wage award, that he has presented to him some of the issues we raised around the CNG, he has presented as well some of the issues we raised around the low-income earners being exempted from taxation. Uh, that they've also discussed about the issues of return, uh, that the Lagos State government has shut them out of operations for over one year now. That we should hold on for the president to come back by weekend, that when the president returns back, that they, they are going to uh, swing into action and give us some concrete terms. TUC President Festus Osifu says the meeting with the federal government is on course but he expressed dissatisfaction with the Lagos State government over the crisis with one of its affiliate unions, the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria. The issue of Ratian, you know, is one of the issues that we have been pushing forward. And that by, by the end of this week, if there is no resolution on that subject, that we are going to picket and commence a total shutdown of Lagos State government, you know, effective next week. TUC, like the NLC, is conversing a return to the negotiation table with the federal government to amplify the voices of the masses in the aftermath of the increase in the pump price of petrol. Jokia TVC News, Abuja.